hey y'all welcome back to my channel thanks again for stopping by today we are doing a butterfly lock tutorial i'm so excited about this one these are all the materials that you'll need for this style make sure you're following me at nadia nice hair on instagram and of course you can use any kind of buttercream or hair moisturizer that you like that part is optional of course, these are again the, the tools that I use, the rat tail comb, wide tooth comb, I use Kemet Biologics uh, Heavy Buttercream, and the Shiny Jam. So we're going to begin the style by parting your hair. Of course, you can part in squares, diamonds, triangles, however you choose to. If you want straighter parts, be sure to use that Shiny shine Jam between the parts and go over it again with the comb. I'm then going to use my buttercream and rub it throughout the hair and smooth the roots with the Shine and Jam gel. I like to pre-part just so I make sure I have even parts. And then you're gonna begin to braid these sections of hair. And make sure to braid all the way to the tip or all the way to the ends of the hair. Also, another tip, be sure not to braid too tightly at the roots because you will have to use that crochet needle at the roots and pull the, the hair through. You're going to continue this until you're completely done braiding the entire head. I also like to do the uh, like brick-like pattern so that the braids are falling between one another. And the reason for that is that you just don't want a lot of spaces in between your locks, your faux locks, your butterfly locks. So y'all, we're going to get into this hair. We are using the Free Chest Water Wave 22 inch. You can use um, a shorter length if you choose to. This hair is very long. You're gonna take two strands, two pieces of hair, and just run your fingers through those strands to separate the hair out. And by separating the hair out, it's gonna make it easier when you're trying to do the butterfly technique. And also it gives it a more natural look, which I love. So it's time to get started y'all. First you're going to slide that crochet hook underneath the base of the braid, attach the hair onto the hook, close the latch and pull straight through. So you're going to continue to pull that hair straight through until one side is longer than the other. The longer side of the water wave hair will be the hair that you're wrapping with and the shorter side will just be the hair um, that you're holding in your hand. It's gonna be your stationary hand, it's not gonna move anywhere, but be sure that the shorter side is a little longer than her, her natural braid, her natural hair. So next guys, we're gonna begin wrapping, beginning at the base of the braid. So the first few rotations, like three to four rotations, you wanna make sure you're, you're wrapping the hair tightly. And then on like the fourth or fifth rotation, be sure to stick your thumb out and then you're gonna wrap that hair around your thumb twice. Pull your thumb out and then continue wrapping tightly. So you can see it here. I went around once, twice, and I slipped my thumb out and I continue to wrap tightly. So y'all, depending on your client and how they want their butterfly locks to look, That'll determine how many loops you're gonna make within the lock to give it that butterfly effect. So, you know, if they want an extreme butterfly look, you're gonna make more loops. But if they want it more subtle, then you're not gonna make as many loops. So you're gonna continue this technique all the way down to the end of the hair. And I even go past her natural braid because I don't want her cutting off her hair when it's time to take these locks out. So, the last step is to just bend the short piece that you were holding in your hair with her natural braid. You're gonna bend that upward and then begin to wrap it going upward in the same direction that you were wrapping downward. So lastly, you're gonna take the wrapping hair that you were originally wrapping with, the longer piece, and do the same thing. So if you're going for that bob look like we have here, then you probably can go with the 22 inch water wave hair. But if you're going for longer locks, then um, this 22 inch hair would be perfect. It's just a lot of wrapping. So we probably could have went with the 18 inch, but 
it all worked out and it's super cute in the end. So here's the last one, the very last one. And you can just watch me do that same technique I explained earlier, wrapping tightly at the base, um, sticking my thumb out on about the fourth or fifth rotation. And when I do stick my, my thumb out, I like to um, wrap the hair, make sure the hair is not fully around my thumb. Like I have a little bit of hair going in front of my thumb and over my thumb, as you can see right there. I think it just gives it a better loop and then continue wrapping down. So you're gonna continue to wrap those strands going upward. And lastly, I do a quick palm roll of the lock just to, just to secure it. Yes, I'm loving how beautiful these butterfly locks came out. They turned out beautifully. Um, now you can wear it mm, as a middle part, flip it over as a side part, honey. You can do whatever you want. I love how natural they are. My friend looks so long. Like they fit her face so well. I really do love this style. And I hope this tutorial was beginner friendly. I hope it was, you know, well explained. And I hope you all try it. If you try it, post some pictures down below. Send me some pictures and tell me, let me know how they turned out. And you can dress your locks up, adorn them any kind of way. We added some lock jewelry just for some spice. Thanks again for watching, y'all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to all my new subbies. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you in the next video.